So there we go. We have finally set up my brand new iPhone 10. I'm really happy. There's my girlfriend. But yeah, I'm really happy. I love the phone, a face ID, just getting used to all the gestures, etc. But I'm loving it so far. The iPhone 10 unboxing video, as well as the setup video. Well, hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to a brand new video where today has been a very exciting day. Yesterday, of course, was Christmas Day. Hopefully you all had a wonderful day. I did. It was a day full of eating and drinking a bunch of water. And at the end of it, I actually went to the home gym because my mum made this homemade cheesecake and her serving, kid you not, was near the 1000 calorie mark. I know, right? So one slice was about 950 calories. And I was like, whoa, that, that's, that, that's, that's a lot of calories. And you know me, I'm a bit of a gym guy. So I had to go to the gym afterwards, like down to the home gym. But anyway, Christmas was amazing. I got a bunch of stuff, might do a video showing you what I got, but mainly Pokemon related. As you guys know, love playing Pokemon. However, you're like, Matt, can you stop rambling on and talk about today's video? That is right. I, I am rambling on, but I just want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas and hopefully you have a fantastic new year. And yeah, this year has been amazing. So thank you for all your support so far. And it's honestly, the channel's doing the best it's ever been. And just like to say thank you so so much for all your support. Honestly, it means the world to me. So today being Boxing Day, I decided to treat myself. So I've had this phone here, the iPhone 6 Plus, for about, since launch, since the what I was trying to say is I've had this phone since launch day and I remember getting this quite well. It, I was in my internship and it was like September time and I was like, right, here we go, here we go. Refresh, refresh, refresh. And I managed to get it on release day. Uh, my friend Charles, I gave him a call, I said, Charles, if you want this phone, you need to order it now. He did about 20 minutes later than me and his phone came to him about one to two weeks after. So it's always key, always be, you know, punctua punctu punctuation, punctu punctu punctuality. Punct For some reason, I'm losing my words. So what I'm trying to say is be punctual, 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 punctual. Is that the word? I have no idea. I've literally gone off track. But anyway, you know the word. Be on time, and yeah, I've had this phone since then. But I've had this phone for a very long time, probably about three years and three months, and I'm like, to be honest, it's time for an upgrade. I'm very excited for an upgrade. I deserve an upgrade, I deserve a treat. So, I went to the Apple store today. I reserved this phone at six o'clock in the morning. Here is the bag, look at the wonderful bag from Apple. And inside here is my brand new iPhone X, the iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it, iPhone X, iPhone 10, the 256 gig. I went for the, I, I thought if I'm getting the iPhone 10, I might as well just go for the best of the best. So this is a 64 gig model iPhone 6 Plus, and we're going for a 256 gigabyte iPhone 10, which I'm very excited about. And like I said, I will be keeping this phone. I might create a second account for Pokemon and just have fun with that for gyms and so on and raise. Is that kind of sad, me having two phones for Pokemon? Maybe, but this phone is still in great condition. It's flawless, it's mint, and I'm very excited. So today, we're gonna unbox, we're gonna open this wonderful bag of what Apple have given me, and we're gonna be unboxing my iPhone 10, the 256 gigabyte model so if you do enjoy today's video then be sure to a massive thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below your thoughts regarding this here we go right so here is the bag here is the wonderful bag let's uh let's take a look inside and see i mean this was free i mean in the uk if you're from the uk you know that some shops by law have to charge 5p for a bag because we're trying to be more eco and environment environmental friendly is that the word environmental friendly i think so i don't know but um some places do charge you 5p this bag was free i, I i'm so I'm, i i should be because this phone is like over i think it's like 1300 pounds it's the most expensive iphone they do so i'm pretty happy with that but anyway you ready Ooh, here is the phone this is the back of the phone uh, it gives you all the information this is the front of the phone this is the iphone 10 uh you have two options here well this is technically this is the the iphone x the iphone 10 silver 256 gigabyte model and as you see here it's black like it is it's black around here like the, the embezzle here is black 
but it's silver and it's like a whitish on the back. Whereas this phone, it's just white all the way around. So I'm probably gonna get a little bit used to it, but to be honest, like you can't, it's not much of an embezzle. Whereas, you know, the iPhone 6, you can see there's a big embezzle at the top and big embezzle at the bottom, but on the iPhone 10, they pretty much minimized it and then he kept this little bit up here and there's no button, I, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So here is my one, the 256 gigabyte model. Uh, what, is it, what does it have? So we have the iPhone 10, we have earpods with lightning connector, lightning to headphone jack adapter, lightning to USB cable, and USB power adapter. That's quite a lot of stuff. Now the one thing which I have read online before buying this, and what I've read in line, in, in line? What, what the hell was in line, man? With this phone, it has no headphone jack. I'm used to having a headphone jack on my iPhone 6. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting. Yeah, they do provide me with the lightning adapter to my headphones, but I might eventually down, da, da, download, download, eventually down the line, I might go for those wireless ear pods, give those a go. Cause I think those will be pretty, uh, they look a bit weird, but I'm sort of adjusting to how people are wearing them. Um, I know it's, you just wear them like in your ears, but I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty excited, but I probably will use this phone for music. I have Spotify premium. So I, all my all my phones, all my phones, all my songs are downloaded onto the phone. So uh, I can easily do this. And I can also tether as well if need be. But, uh, but no, here is, the iPhone 10. Here's the box. If you've never seen a box before from iPhone, this is what the box looks like. And uh, yeah, this is the you know the famous motto, the famous saying, designed by Apple in California, but assembled in China. And uh, I'm just excited for this. And this phone came out sometime in November. I think November 3rd when Call of Duty came out. I think it's the same release date as Call of Duty. But anyway, are you ready? So you get this wonderful seal at the bottom here. Let's go. Oh, this is honestly the best bit. Oh. There we go. And now this phone's worthless because it's out of the <laughs> out of the packaging. But I do love the Apple boxes. Look, iPhone. It doesn't say iPhone uh, 10 or anything. It literally just says iPhone. I remember back in the day on the iPhone 4, 5, or say iPhone 5, etc. Then you got the wonderful Apple logo. Are you ready? Are you ready to open this with me? So here we go. Oh, 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 quite quite a long box. So in here we have nothing. We have nothing inside. We then have designed by Apple in California. And let's go and open this. I'm, I'm gonna try, well, look, I don't even know what I'm, I'm just so excited, I'm losing my words. Most of the time, whenever I do an unboxing video and I do it this way, something falls out. So I'm just gonna lift it like this and just see what happens. So, oh, no way, right. So we get this information and I'll show you this in a moment, but we also get the wonderful iPhone 10 just there. Wow. Right, so before we even get into that, let's just see what is in here. Oh, that's pretty cool, look. Hello. <laughs> I don't know, the, the little things. Right, oh, I thought this was a screen protector, but I know you get the, the famous Apple stickers. But honestly, I thought this was a screen protector. What do we have? So we have hello, we have the wonderful pin to uh, take out your uh, SIM card. Um, Yeah, it just says welcome. We have, like, obviously, we have face ID and bits and bobs like that. Cool, so all what was in here was the instructions as expected. Right, we have a nice little tab here to pull the phone up. Very nice indeed, because I'm not really gonna use this phone yet. Reason being is my case is arriving tomorrow as well as my screen protector. I wanna keep my phone in very good condition. Um, but once that arrives, I'm gonna be using this phone quite a bit, but straight away comparing the weight difference from this guy and this, this guy might be a little bit lighter, but I know this one's thick, I mean, this is, I think this is slightly thinner. I mean, you guys can probably tell, but I think the, the iPhone 10 is slightly thinner than my uh, 6 Plus. This actually has, has a bigger screen than this guy on the right. Size comparison between the phones, you can tell that the iPhone, the, the, uh, the, 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 the what are you trying to say? The 6 Plus, you can see, is slightly wider and obviously taller, but the screen on the iPhone 10 is far bigger. So there is the iPhone 10 with the new camera. And I'm, I'm probably gonna leave all this packaging on for now until we get our screen protector. But what else is in the box? Well, we have the famous, there, I'm trying to not allow this to fall out because the amount of times that happens on camera. So we have our plug, we have our ear pods. So we just have the standard plug. Yep, just a standard regular plug. Oh, it does feel nice. Oh, oh, theme of Apple though. Like which company likes to put a protector, a protector on the plug? Only Apple. Well, maybe other companies do, but it's just it's the small things, right? It's the small things which count. We then have the ear pods. So we've seen these before. These are the standard ear pods. 
But then obviously you have the lightning to earpod ejector, ejector. What is what is what's, what's an ejector? An adapter. So we have. I think it's just yeah. So it's a lightning to what 3.5 millimeter jack. Pretty cool. And then at the bottom we then have our. I think it's our one meter lightning cable. What else is in the box, Matt? Well, that's pretty much it. So you've. Uh, if we take this out again, that's pretty much what the box is. Nothing else in the box. Put you back in there. We then have our cable. Let's put you back in. Does that go in like that? You know when you take something out of the box, it's always like try it's always hard to put it back in the box. It's like, how on earth did they do that? But um I say that's in. Then we have oh no, it's not in properly. I'm I don't know. I, I'm gonna there we go. There we go, right. Headphones, put this in. That is all what's inside the box. And then what we then do is we then put the instructions back on top. We then put the iPhone to one side. We then put this box on top of the box like so. Boom, boom. There we go. And here we go. We've unboxed the iPhone 10, as you can see there. Like it's, they call this a silver. It's more of a, a white. So you've got a black front, silver down the side here, and obviously the back itself. Right, should we try turning this on for the first time and see what happens? So obviously there's only there's a few buttons now. You've got uh, your vibrate, you've got your volume up and down, and then obviously you have your lock button. There's a turn on button now, so let's go and um, try and turn you on. Let's see what happens here. Turning on. Oh, there's the Apple logo. There is the Apple logo, guys. Oh, let's see what's happening. It's going to hopefully boot up for the first time, and hopefully we have no errors. Um, I would do a setup video, but it's going to take a while because I need to do face ID recognition and everything. Actually, should we do that as well? We, we've been doing that quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? We're doing an unboxing video and a setup video. So it's telling me here, like, bonjourno and everything else. Hello. Right, so swipe up. Swipe up. Swipe up to open. Okay, there's no SIM card installed. Insert a valid... Okay, so insert a valid SIM with no pin locked. Activate iPhone. Okay, well, we'll do that at a later time. I just want to show you the setup of the phone. So let's press English. Select your region. So you can then select your region and so on and so on. So we're going to select United Kingdom. Setting language. Uh, no SIM card. Yes. Okay, whatever. Then no SIM card. We're all good. A quick start. If you have an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically if you... If you want, you can set, um, we can do a quick start, but let's set up manually. Right, choose my Wi-Fi network. Okay, so actually, let me just show you. So this is the quick start thing. Should we try, should we, should we see that work? So it says, if you have an iPhone or iPad running, bring it nearby. No way. Hang on a sec, guys. So it says quick start here. Let me unlock my phone. There we go. Can you see it says set up phone? at the bottom there. So it says, use your Apple ID, my email address to set up your new phone. Press continue. It's connecting. Oh my, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's so white, but it says waiting for other phone. Waiting for, your... okay, position this image in the, fr oh, so we got a little camera thing here. So let's do this. Oh, no way. Setting up new, I oh, finish. And now it says finish on your new iPhone. It now says enter my passcode from my other phone. Right, okay, so what is my passcode? So let's put this in. In one hour later, setting up my iPhone. That is crazy. That is crazy. It may take a few minutes to activate my phone. I don't have a SIM card in, so it might complain. But it's taken my information from the Wi Fi and everything else from my old phone in here. Okay, it's now asking me to put a SIM in. Should we should we attempt to do that? Should, should we do the SIM? Uh, yeah, let's do the SIM bit. I'll come back to you and let's activate my brand new iPhone 10. Guys, guess what? The new SIM card is now in the iPhone 10. Let's swipe up. It says SIM card required still. Let's press the old try again. May take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Right. Oh, this is my old iPhone, by the way. As you see, it's, it's a white and then it has like a silver background. Uh, it's very smooth. It feels weird holding a phone without... When, you haven't, when you've had a case on your phone for a very long time and you take it out the case... Your phone feels naked. It feels weird. But, oh, face ID, guys. We now have the chance to do face ID. Are you ready? Let's see what happens when I show my face to the phone. Right, so let's press continue. How to set up face ID. First, position your face in the camera frame. Then move your head in a circle to show all the angles <laughs> of your face. Right, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's press get started. Oh, okay. It's saying, okay, I'm, I'm trying to do this on camera to show you. Okay, let me, let me do that. There we go. You guys can see the phone. I'm, I was trying to do this. Right. How to set up? Yep. Blah, 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 blah. We're good to go. Right. Position your face within the frame. Yep. Oh, that was it. First scan complete. Move your head. Well, that was quick. Only two attempts. Right. Let's press. So it says now it says face ID 
is set up. Let's give it a go. Selling up your Apple ID. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, every unboxing video now, we seem to be doing setup, like the setting up bit as well. So people can enjoy the unboxing at the start and then a setup because sometimes unboxing videos you've seen before, but sometimes you want to see me setting up my new iPhone. Um, but yeah, hopefully I did that correct. Oh, I was like this. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Probably acting like a lemon. Uh, but anyway, it says setting up my ID. So it says here, Matthew J.K. Smith, that's my iPhone, was last backed up on the 25th of December at 17.13. We got the backup now so you can restore your new iPhone. Would you like to back up now so you can restore your new iPhone? I need to update my old backup. Oh, yo, you know how we just did that thing with my phone earlier on about like two phones next to each other? Well, you know, I said let's do a backup. Well, I've done a back. I've asked it to back up on this phone and it's now backing up on this phone. That is crazy. Like that honestly is crazy. It's now updating the backup there. And now it wants me to do go for the terms and conditions. That is awesome. Even though the phone was backed up yesterday, because it backs up whenever your phone's charged in, it's now backing up now, which is good. So let's agree to the terms and conditions. Siri, we can set up Siri. Uh, yeah, continue. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Oh, look at that. That is fancy. It's saying, hey Siri is ready. Siri will recognize your voice whenever you say, hey Siri, to tap continue to finish. Okay. We'll try that in a bit. Uh, iPhone analytics. Yep, might as well share that. Yep, share that. True tone display. Now, I've heard about this. I've heard good things about this. And by the way, the backup has about three minutes left. Three minutes left on the old backup. So true tone display. iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent, you know, consistent in different environments. You can change this later. Yeah, I, I would say true tone display. Let's give it a go. Right. Um, always a software update. iOS 11.2.1. Let's download and install. It wants me, it won't allow me to go through the next stage. I have to download the latest update. Boom, 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 boom. Download and install. Yep, let's agree to the new thing. It's so cool having, like, tapping the bottom of my phone for agree. I'm so used to just, like, going on the right. And that has about three minutes left now, which is not too bad. But, um, but no, like, for example, on this phone, I'm so used to pressing agree there, not at the bottom of the phone. Whereas this phone, I'm pressing agree at the bottom. But um, so far, like, first impressions, this, like, I don't know. I need, I need to check the stats, but this phone, for me, like, this feels, because I think, like, is it thicker? Actually, let's just take a quick look. I think it is. I mean, yeah, like, if you were to look at it, the iPhone 10 is slightly thicker. But it has a nice feel to it, and it, it feels like a like a like a solid phone. Whereas my iPhone 6, it's a great feel. It's big. It's good for my hand, but it's a thinner phone. Um, so far, like the weight difference, I feel like the iPhone 10 is a little bit heavier. But this now says finish on new iPhone. I've now backed it up. Awesome stuff. Ooh, 11 seconds left on the old uh, iOS 11.2.1. So what I'm going to do, it always oh, actually preparing to update. What I'm going to do is wait for the phone to update with the latest iOS and then come back to you guys and confirm what's new. And hopefully everything is transferred over. And uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Guys, I have good news. The iPhone 10 has finally, finally installed. It's a little bit hot though, a little bit hot, but here we go. Face ID. Oh, just a swipe up. Oh, your password is required to enable... Oh, okay, because it's just reboot for the first time. Okay, so let's put in the old passcode. Oh, okay, B to begin restoring the backup, enter your... Oh, enter my password. Typing seems to be pretty good, just uh, just similar to my uh, iPhone 6 Plus. Right, I've... Uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. What are you trying to say about updating the iCloud settings? Awesome stuff. Oh, here we go. A restore from iCloud. How long? H have a guess. How long do you think it's going to take? Right. That is what it's saying right now. A restore from iCloud. A few days ago, I found out that it was only 79p per month to have 50 gigabytes of iCloud. So I pretty much just backed up my entire phone to the iCloud and uploaded my photos as well. Now I could, I thought, well, if I'm going to get a new phone, I, I was already thinking ahead of time, but I'm thinking, well, A, it's a, it's good to back up my phone. But B, I was like, well, maybe I can simply download from iCloud my backup onto my new phone. And that is what it's doing. So it's going to take a good while. As you guys can see there, the bar is pretty small. Pretty small. It does say time remaining estimating. It's going to take probably a good while. Oh, it says swipe up to finish iOS. Well, let's just give it a face ID. is pretty quick. Now, oh, I keep... 
I keep forgetting. I, I keep going, okay, face ID, and then it would unlock the phone. It does unlock the phone, but you got to go face, look at face ID, and then swipe up. I'm, it, yeah, swipe, I, I just got to get used to the old swipe up thing. But it's now saying swipe up, swipe up to upgrade. Okay, enter in passcode. Oh, it's reboot. Okay, we now have the wonderful, famous Apple logo. And hopefully this, this shouldn't take too long. It's, it's going pretty quick. The phone does say it's done. It's now booting up. Uh, oh, hello. Swipe up again. Swipe up. Swipe up. Oh, restore complete. Right, restore complete. Your iPhone was restored successfully. There's the last few things. It may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Okay, so this should be interesting to see because it's asking me about true tone display again. So iPhone also adapt. Uh, continue. Oh, one sec. Oh. So it says you can, so iPhone automatically adapts to ambient lighting condition to make colors appear consistent in different environments. Moving on, we have quick access controls. So swipe down from the top right edge to open the control center. Press firmly on the control to reveal more options. Okay. Uh, you can ask Siri. Press and hold the side button to talk to Siri anytime. Or you can say, hey Siri, I believe. And welcome to iPhone. So swipe up. Here we go. It's now actually installing all of my apps. Because obviously all the apps are from the backup. No, they're not in folders. Oh, they are in folders. Oh, that's very fancy. But let's just try Face ID. So let's lock the phone quickly. And let's go up. That is quick. That is quick. Hey Siri. Good afternoon. Matthew. Interesting. What is the weather like today? Don't forget your raincoat. Nice. Siri, can you close the app, please? Who? Me? Yeah. Sorry, I can't close an app. What? I thought you could, Siri. All my apps are here. It's, it's very, uh, it's it's awesome. So there we go. We have finally set up my brand new iPhone 10. I'm really happy. There's my girlfriend. But yeah, I'm really happy. I love the phone, a face ID. Just getting used to all the gestures, etc. But I'm loving it so far. It's probably going to take a while to get used to it. But uh, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. The iPhone 10 unboxing video as well as the setup video. But no, I'm really excited. I might do like a review video later on. I don't know. But anyway. If you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, comment down below your thoughts regarding this. But anyway, have a wonderful day and see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps.